Serena, I want to say thank you for inviting me to dinner last night. It was a cozy one. And can I also see that the house has completely changed since my last visit, hasn't it? Yes, me and Daniel have made some renovations to our home. The work was quite extensive though. It included repairing the roof, replacing the windows, painting the walls, and building another tier. Yes, I'm also wondering why you wanted to construct another tier. I mean, there are only two people in the house, you and your husband. So I don't think it's necessary to have that much additional space. What is it for, honey? Tell me. I'm really, really curious to know. Well, of course, there are only the two of us at the moment, but we will have kids in the future. So it's a good thing that we have more space, don't you think? Oh, honey, I don't buy it. Daniel has mentioned on multiple occasions that you aren't currently considering parenthood. Just tell me the truth. You expanded the house to make room for me, right? Are you planning to let me move in and stay with you guys? Tell me, I really want to know. I'm super excited, my dear. I was going to keep this under my hat until Sunday, when I could throw a surprise party to let everyone know the great news. But to tell the truth, I'm currently pregnant with Daniel's child, Mom, which means that you're becoming a grandma. I know this child isn't pre-planned, but Daniel and I are still confident that we can raise them well. Are you as happy and excited as I am right now, Mom? I know you are. What? You're having Daniel's kid? I can't believe this. But forget about the kid. I thought the house repair was meant to make room for me. Daniel even told me I could move in with you guys next month. It was Daniel who told you that? That's strange. He didn't say anything to me. You know what? I was so excited about the prospect of moving in with you two that I told my family, friends, and everyone I know about it. What should I tell them now? Um, I'm sorry, Mom, but I was totally unaware of Daniel's agreement to let you move in. Maybe I should just give him a call and see what he has to say. Well, it's okay, honey. No need for your concerns. In the end, older parents are often discarded by their grown children once they are no longer needed. Poor me. I endured the excruciating pain of childbirth to bring Daniel into this world. I fought against all odds to make your husband into the man he is today. And all of that for what? Only to have my precious son taken away from me by a complete stranger. Stranger? What do you mean, Mom? No one, I say no one, could ever understand the sense of loss, betrayal, and anger that I'm suffering at the moment. I guess it's only me to blame for being so stupid and naive to actually believe that my daughter-in-law and son would care for me in the slightest in my old age. Mother, I'm so sorry if I make you feel that way. I believe that it's just a misunderstanding between us, but I promise that I'll do my best to make it up to you. Serena, I know that there are some toxic daughters-in-law who are only interested in taking advantage of their mothers-in-law and then discarding them when they are no longer useful. I just hope that you're not one of them. What are you saying, mother? Of course I'm not that kind of person. I always treat you with love and respect, just like the way you treat me. I know you always say you love me, but you're not acting accordingly. I mean, seriously, who in the world claims to love their parents and then just abandons them like you? That's not love. That's pure selfishness. But what can I expect? Easier said than done, that's what they always say. It's not what I meant at all, Mom. Please don't say it like that. But you need to understand that I'm completely taken by surprise when you said that Daniel let you move in and stay with us. And what's wrong with that? I'm Daniel's mother, so why can't I live together with my own son? I know. 
Now Daniel is old enough to make his own decisions. He'd rather choose to side with a woman he's only known for a few years over his own flesh and blood mother? That's just great. I wonder what terrible things you've instilled in my son's head just to make him cut me off. I would love to live together with you, Mom, but it didn't end so well last time. We both know that it's quite difficult for us to get along. That was why we were forced to move out of your house and find a new house for ourselves. Oh, so now you're accusing me of giving you a hard time when we were living together, huh? Well, just blame it on me all you want. After all, what can an elderly and vulnerable woman do to protect herself from a bullying daughter-in-law? Absolutely nothing. Why are you calling me a bully now? I didn't do or say anything that's potentially hurtful to you. I'm just trying to explain myself. Explain yourself? From the way I see it, all you're doing is just intentionally laying a guilt trip on me. But forget about it. From now on, whenever someone asks me why I suddenly become homeless, I'll just tell them that it was thanks to my wicked daughter-in-law. It's ironic how you call leaving your own mom-in-law to rot on the streets is treating her with love and respect. Homeless? What are you talking about? What happened to your current home? I assumed that you and Daniel expanded your house to let me move in with you two, so I already sold my own house. What are you gonna do about it now? Do you really have a heart to see this old lady sleep on the streets? You already sold your own house? Why did you make such a big decision without telling me or Daniel in advance? You're putting us in a really difficult position right now, Mom. Please tell me that what you just said isn't real. So now you're implying that I'm nothing but a liar? <gasps> How could you think about your own mother-in-law like that? I guarantee if it was back in the old days, you'd be excluded from my family immediately. Oh, for the love of God, someone help me! I'm having a heart attack from the insults my own daughter-in-law is hurling at me! How dare she speak to me that way? I'm her mother-in-law for crying out loud! Mom, I think we're getting off on the wrong foot here. I didn't say anything about you being a liar. It's a little bit of exaggeration what you just told me, don't you think? Please don't be too quick to jump to conclusions like that. Enough! I'm not gonna waste my time here arguing with an insolent daughter-in-law like you any longer. I raised Daniel the best I could, but he goes and marries this woman who has the audacity to call herself my daughter-in-law, when all she does is talk down to me. Oh, my decrepit soul. In my youth, I never imagined that I would be forced to endure such humiliation at the ripe old age of 50. Please calm down, Mom. I have not said anything that I believe would be considered offensive in any way. Don't be too concerned. I'm going to go and have a word with Daniel about all of this. I don't want to hear any more words from you. Seriously, if I had known that this day would happen, I would have gone back in time and prevented my son from marrying you. Why are you saying all of this? It really breaks my heart, and it's not nice of you to say so. Listen, either you let me in the house, or else I'll cut all ties with you. I bet you're so convinced of being the only woman for Daniel, huh? But guess what? You're completely wrong. You're nothing but a placeholder for Daniel. And more than once, my son had told me that he would be glad to get rid of you as soon as possible. I will find him the real love of his life, and you will be nothing but a memory. Daniel, I'm a bit concerned. Your mom told me that you agreed to let her stay with us, but I didn't think that was the plan. Can we talk about this? What? My mom actually said that? That's impossible. I didn't tell her anything like that at all. You didn't? 
But mom told me that you let her live with us and that she would be moving into our house next month. She also called me all kinds of names, saying that I'm a wicked daughter-in-law and wishing she could go back in time to stop you from marrying me. I'm really confused. I don't know what's going on right now. Did my mom really say that to you? How could she do that to you? That's totally unfair to you. For the record, I never said anything about letting my mom move in with us. I'm not sure what she's thinking, but I can assure you that I'm not on board with this plan of hers. Not only that, your mom even told me that she had sold her house and now she has nowhere to go. She claimed that if we didn't let her move in, she would become homeless. My mom sold her house? Seriously? Given her past behavior towards you, I'm not sure that we should trust everything my mom says. Yeah, she wasn't very nice to me back then. I'm not sure if I can handle living with your mom again. It was really frustrating for me last time. I know. It was a total nightmare, not only for you, but for me. She forced you to wake up at 4 in the morning to cook breakfast for the whole family, only to throw everything away because she didn't like it? She had no regard for our privacy and would barge into our room without knocking. She even took your belongings without asking or hid them somewhere so that you couldn't find them. Yeah, I think I still have bad dreams from those memories. Not to mention the many times she came to my parents' house unannounced and conveniently took things with her without asking. Honestly, even after moving out of her house for quite some time, we're still unable to live a peaceful life. Every now and then, she still bombards you with calls or texts, asking you to come over to her place and run her errands, whether it's pulling weeds, shoveling the snow, cleaning the toilet, or God knows what thing she can come up with. Yeah, she always exaggerates the importance of her day-to-day -day chores, making them seem like emergencies. I sympathize with your mom for living alone, but it's nearly impossible to live with her because of our differences. I always feel like she has some kind of discrimination against me. Look, I just want you to know that you have all the rights in the world to set boundaries and say no if my mom is being disruptive, especially if her intention is just to make your life difficult. Besides, you're my wife, so I will not be hesitant to stand up and protect you to the best of my ability. Oh, thank you, darling. I can't imagine that I'm lucky enough to have married a man like you. You're always thinking of others, and most importantly, you always put my needs first. But do you think she actually meant it when she said that she had sold her house? Hmm, I doubt it. You know what? I just spoke to the man who lives next door to my mom's house, and he told me that she's still living there. He also said that it's unlikely my mom has sold her house because he hasn't seen any signs of a sale such as a for sale sign in the yard or real estate agent's lockbox on the door. So what you're saying is that mom wasn't truthful to me when we talked earlier? Seriously, how could she say such a thing out of nowhere like that? I think so. I don't hate my mom or anything, but sometimes she's just too much to bear. And from my real life experience, this isn't the first time my mom has fabricated a false story to get what she wants. That's one of the things that really irritates me about my mom. But honey, now she insists on moving in together with us. What should we do about that? I don't want to say no to her, but I'm dreading the thought of living with her again. I think we should be honest with mom about how we feel. We can tell her that we don't feel comfortable living with her and that we think it would be best for both of us if she found another living arrangement. I'm sure she will be disappointed, but I think she will eventually come to terms with it. I'm concerned that if we do this, it will only make things worse. Your mom already doesn't like me, and this could just give her more reason to dislike me. We can't just dismiss her claim about having sold her house, even if it's not true. It would definitely hurt her self-esteem. What do you think is the best way to handle this situation? Should we go no contact with our mom and not answer her calls? Perhaps if we do that, she will eventually get the message. Going no contact with our mom is not an option, as she knows where we live and could easily show up at our doorstep. Additionally, she is still your mother, and I would never do anything that could jeopardize your relationship with her. 
Don't worry, I'll handle this. I'll tell her that we're expecting a child soon and that we won't have enough room for her in our house. I promise I won't do or say anything that would jeopardize our relationship. I'll just be honest with her. Serena, are you ignoring me? I've already packed my belongings and moved everything to your house. And I'm here at your doorstep. Are you going to open the door or do I need to start knocking louder? No, mom. I'm not going to let you in. And my husband never agreed to that either. Why doesn't he agree? What did you tell my son? Why all of a sudden he doesn't let me move in with you guys anymore? Tell me. You orchestrated all of this, didn't you? How could I have been so naive? I should have known that a two-faced snake like you would always find a way to sabotage my mother-son relationship with Daniel. Um, I didn't say anything to him, Mom. I don't know why you're accusing me of that. I spoke to Daniel yesterday, and he told me that he didn't even bring up the subject of you moving in. So don't come at me with your accusations. I'm not the one you should be mad at. Well, well, well. Why am I not surprised? Now you finally managed to make my son turn his back against me and take your side, huh? Congratulations, my evil daughter-in-law, for finally achieving what you always wanted. I will not let you get away with this. I am filing a lawsuit against you for bullying your mother-in-law, manipulating my son, and taking him away from me. Are you saying this for real, Mom? I didn't make Daniel turn his back on you. My husband has advised me to stay silent to you so that you won't be able to bother us anymore. However, I have chosen not to do so because I still have respect for you as my mother-in-law. Are you seriously suggesting that I should be grateful to you for destroying my family and making me homeless? What an entitled witch! I'm still trying to figure out how you managed to ensnare my son into marriage. I know my son in and out. Enough to understand that a man like him would never degrade himself and have any association with a woman like you. Making you homeless? Please, Mom, you're not fooling anyone anymore. We've already found out that you haven't even sold your house yet because your neighbor already informed us about that. So you already knew about it, huh? Yeah, I haven't sold my house. So what? You incited my son to move out and distance himself from me. So it's you who forced me to make that story up. You stole Daniel from me, and now you're trying to make me look like the bad guy? Stole Daniel from you? Are you kidding me? He's a grown-up man, and he can decide everything for himself. It was his decision to get married to me, so I think you should also respect that. I've had enough of your cruelty. I'm not going to let you get away with what you've done to me. I'm going to make you pay for every bit of pain and suffering you've caused me. You're going to regret the day you ever crossed me. Daniel, I've been noticing some strange things happening around the house lately. I'm not sure if it's just something that pregnant women go through, but I'm starting to get a little worried. What do you mean, Serena? Can you make it more specific? I apologize for not being able to help you out. I'm currently on a business trip and won't be back until Monday. It's okay, honey. I totally understand. But I've been feeling a little uneasy lately. Some things don't seem right in the yard, and I'm starting to wonder if someone might be breaking in. Really? And why do you think so? Can you tell me what happened exactly? Well... Clothes have been going missing from the drying rack, and it seems like only my clothes are being taken. The other day, someone threw a rock through the kitchen window, and I got cut by the glass. And then, all of the flowers in the garden were mysteriously destroyed overnight. I was even more scared when I saw someone wrote, Go to hell, in red paint on our wall. I had to spend the entire morning repainting the wall to its original color. That's really strange. Clothes gone missing a rock thrown through the window, and flowers destroyed overnight? And the red paint mark sounds like something out of a horror movie. But who would do such a thing? And why only your clothes? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's just some playful kids in the neighborhood? They might think it's funny to scare you. But then again, why would they write that on our wall? 
and why would they throw a rock through your window? That seems a bit more serious than just a prank. I'm pregnant, Daniel, and these things are really scaring me. I don't want any negative feelings to affect our baby. I'm so sorry, honey. I wish I could be there to help you. I know you're scared, and I feel terrible that I have to go on a business trip right now. But I'm worried about you. Who do you think could have broken into our yard and done all those things? Well, I don't want to say this, honey, but I'm suspecting that it's a person who's very close to us and has a very clear motive to vandalize our house. I'm not sure, but I think they might be targeting me based on their actions. Who could it be? Wait, is it my mom? Do you think so? It might be her, because last time we talked, she said that she was going to make me suffer for what I did to her. Did my mom actually say that? But why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I'm not sure if she was serious about her threats. I thought she might have just been trying to scare me or saying that out of anger. Don't worry, honey. If you're not sure who's causing you trouble, we can install some cameras around the house. That way, we'll be able to see who it is and put a stop to it. Yes. You're right, Daniel. Thank you for always believing in me, Daniel. You're a wonderful husband, and I'm so lucky to have you. Hi, Mom. It's been a while. How are you doing? I hope everything is well. Well, well. What a surprise to see you again, daughter-in-law. I thought you had finally gotten lost from my life, but here you are, popping up again. I must say, I'm not sure why you're bothering to talk to me. I thought we were done with each other. Oh, I just wanted to check in on you, mother-in-law. After all, we're still family. I wouldn't dream of cutting you off completely. After much consideration, Daniel and I have decided to offer you a truce. We would like you to move in with us so that we can work through our misunderstandings and conflicts. I believe this is the best way to move forward and heal our relationship. Move into your house? <laughs> As if I would ever be interested in such a ridiculous offer. I've already sold my house and moved to a new place, far away from you and your drama. I've thought it all through, and I've come to the conclusion that I'd rather live alone than deal with the likes of you. Oh, really? So you chose to move away? Or were you forced to? I'm interested to hear about it, Mother. What are you getting at? Of course I chose to move away. I can't stand the sight of you for one more minute. I've had enough of your madness, so I'm putting an end to it. But I'm curious, do you still have a house? I mean, is it still in good condition? Yep, my house is just as good as new. But why are you asking about it? Is something bothering you, mother? How could it be? I thought it already... Burned to ashes, right? How did you know? I mean... I saw a report in the newspaper about a house fire in your neighborhood, and I was concerned about you and your family. I was so worried for you guys, but I'm glad that everything is okay. You know what, Mom? Stop pretending like you're innocent. You were clearly planning to burn our house down, but when you heard someone approaching, you got scared and ran away, dropping the gasoline and lighter near our house. After that, you were so scared that you decided to run away from your own house. Your reckless actions caused a fire to the house next door, but luckily, the fire was extinguished immediately and no one was hurt because they noticed it in time. What are you even talking about? I didn't do any of that. You can't just accuse me without any evidence. I already know that you're a self-entitled witch who hates her mother-in-law to her core, but ain't no way you're gonna make me plead guilty for something I didn't do. Don't even try to deny it, Mom. I have everything on tape. I listened to my husband's advice and installed some cameras in and outside the house. I know that you were the one who broke into our yard to harass me and vandalize things. You know what? You could have easily killed me, your unborn grandchild, and even your own son that day when you tried to set our house on fire. What? I thought by that time Daniel hadn't come back from his business trip yet. Well, because of your constant harassment, he decided to come back earlier than planned to check on me. So, I nearly killed my own son. Oh no, what did I do? I just wanted to take revenge on you for stealing my son and not letting me move into your house. 
but I didn't know that I also put my own son at risk. Well, now you know it. I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'm taking you to court, family or not. You're going to pay for the emotional damage you've inflicted on me, along with the property damage you've caused to our house. You'll be enjoying your time in prison, reflecting on every crime that you committed against me and my family. Prison? Tell me you're joking, Serena. You're my sweet little daughter-in-law, who always loves and cares for her mother-in-law, right? There's no way you would do such a cruel thing as putting your own mom-in-law in jail. Please answer me, Serena. Please, take my call, Serena. Can you hear me? Serena! With the video as a damning piece of evidence, my mother-in-law was finally forced to admit to her crimes and was sentenced to prison. I can only hope that the time she spends behind bars will be enough for her to reflect on the terrible things she has done to me and my family and that she will emerge a better person when she is released. It wasn't long before my mother was finally released from prison as the fire she had caused resulted in no major damage or injuries. However, when she returned home, she found that her house had been completely destroyed by a heavy storm. Fiona had nowhere to go and she came to us for help, but we refused to do so. After all, she nearly killed our whole family that day, so why should we have any sympathy for her anyway? Dealing with my toxic mother-in-law, Fiona, was an experience that I would rather forget. However, it also taught me a valuable lesson about the kind of man my husband is. He has always stood by my side no matter what, and he has weathered the storm with me. I am so grateful for his love and support.